All right, I just wanted to make a little point of reference here as far as uh, uh, port matching or gasket matching, uh, whichever you want to call it. On the intake ports, there's really not a lot of material uh, to remove uh, to make it match up with your uh, your intake, well, the flange gasket as I call it because it obviously it covers both the intake and exhaust. On the exhaust, however, there's a considerable amount of material that you can remove uh, to have it match up with your uh, with the flange gasket there. So, just wanted to point that out. Uh, obviously, you know, it's not much material, but go ahead and uh, remove it if you can. And another thing I saw in a couple other videos, people took these cylinder heads apart and they thought they had broken bolts here. This is the number six exhaust port, so this is the back of the engine. Up here is the number one cylinder exhaust port. This is the front of the engine. These are not broken bolts, okay? These are threaded studs. You can. Uh, take them out. I've had them out before. It, it, um, just a pair of like channel lock pliers, not even uh, you know uh, locking pliers. Just regular old pliers kind of got them off. Um, but they are effectively like dowel pins. Somewhere you to come in there, hook your gasket onto, so your gasket stays in place, and then that stock manifold, both the intake and the, and the exhaust are cast iron and. When they're bolted together, they can be separated, but here in the center, they're bolted together. And when they're bolted together, they're really pretty heavy. So that allows you to put your gasket on there, have something for that to hang on. And then when you put your manifolds on there, they can sort of rest on these two pins while you get a bolt started in here. So uh, these are not broken bolts. If you got one in here, that could be a broken bolt anywhere along the center. But here on the very end, it's not likely that this, if it's factory, it's not a broken bolt. It's just a dowel pin, uh, something for the manifold to rest on. All right, I decided to do a work on these exhaust ports first. Um, this would be the number two cylinder exhaust port that I'm working on right now. And I'm trying to get the valve guide to be more of a bullet shape. So really what I'm doing is I'm running my tool, my grinding bird, just right in here, kind of working the material down. It opens up the wall on this side and you remove some of the material off of uh, this uh, valve guide boss that's kind of hanging down here. So, like I said, I'm trying to make it kind of a bullet shape. So I'm just running the tool along the sides here, and there's a big chunk of material that's down here on the bottom. And you can kind of see it right there on every single cylinder, exhaust ports, intakes. So that definitely needs to go. Uh, but uh, doing pretty good here on a uh, this exhaust port, I apologize, it's night, it's dark out here. I gotta work on this after work and after school like everybody else. So, working on this one, did a little bit of work on this one. I opened up the ports, uh, port matched, gasket matched, uh, these outlets right here, and you can kinda see there's pretty substantial difference. Like I showed you earlier, you can get quite a bit of material uh, out of these exhaust ports just gasket matching them alone. So let me set the camera up and I'll show you what I'm doing to try and get this uh, valve guide boss uh, bullet shaped.